Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is a bit of a mashup because I started bumming my propagation box and then I had a little brainwave halfway through, decided to use my aerocarson instead, so I ended up using footage from both of them because I did. So uh, that's what it's going to be. So I'm sorry if like, I repeat myself, it is unintentional, but I redid this video a few times and in the end I was like, just use your aerocard and just see how it does. So yeah, enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This is my first video. No, it's not. This is the first time I'm propagating anything this year other than shoving it in the fish tank. So I've got my propagation box. This is just um, an AliExpress number. I think it was about £10. It comes with like a pump and stuff, but it doesn't, that is not compatible with my electricity in my house. So I'm not going to use that. I probably could, I could get an adapter and stuff, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to use it as a box um, because it was about the same cost as a regular plastic box and it's already got holes drilled in for me. So that is what we're going to use. It also comes with these uh, cute, but I'm assuming fairly useless tweezer things and this mysterious object. I believe it's like a water gauge thing but I can't fathom how it would work or why it's red, green, amber because um, it's sealed at both ends. I don't know. So we're just going to put that to one side. And it comes with the six tiny little net pots and then some growing medium which is just, it looks just to be like um, filter sponge. So, so you just fill this with water and it's basically a way of keeping six propagations going at once. Uh, you can just put it on a windowsill and it will grow fine. Today I am propagating, this is um, a runner from my monster Adansonii. This is a ZZ plant which I've been told won't root but you know, we can try. Hoyabella. This is a Monstera Peru. This has actually got uh, a couple of nodes on it. Uh, I've got uh, one of these which is a Trubii, Findapsis Trubii Moonlight. Uh, these apparently take ages to root, so I just wanted to try it. So, and I'm also gonna do, take a cutting from this Philodendron Mycans, just to make it a bit fuller in the pot. It's, it is growing some, um, it's got some new growth coming at the top and I've just hair gripped, so, this used to be like, it used to trail longer, but I've just curled some of the vines round and then just pinned them in. I don't think I've pinned them deep enough for them to actually root, but they look fine. So yeah, right, I'm going to start with this Adansonii. If you're sensible, I'm not sensible, but if you are, you would make a note of what this is because until it grows a new leaf, which could be a very long time, you'll have no idea what it is. I personally like the surprise and I will forget what it is. So I'm just gonna, gonna put it quite deep, just so it, the deeper you put it, like the less it'll care if you don't water it regularly. Let's pop it in there. This is a really cute system. You don't need to use this stuff. You could use lacquer or you could probably use coir, but it might be um, a bit messy. Not monstera. Right, so this is the Monstera Peru. I've had to wash a load of thrips off it and there's another one. So just make sure that you do that before you plant it because you don't want it them to spread onto your other plants. So this has got a node here. So I'm gonna put this there. But if this one um, rots away, I've had no luck propagating these things, none at all. I can, I don't know if I've even, even got them to root. They just don't seem to root for me, but I don't think that's typical of Monstera Peru. I think that's just typical of me. So you can go in there. Um, but if that one roots, I can just cut it back and um, that node's good to go. Oh, don't pop up. I might have to take these down. I'm just gonna, this is just a spare bit. Oh, that is actually a node. Do you wanna go in there as well? Yeah, why not? This is the very end of a node. I've not got a lot of hope for it, but you know, everyone deserves a chance. Right, uh, this is a Hoya Bella. 
I don't know if this is Hellboy Aru. I can't imagine that it's not. So I'm just gonna pull these leaves off. So on this one, there's actually, seems to be like a little bud or something. I have no idea if you can see that. So I'm hoping this should root quite quickly from there since it's already showing. There's also, <laughs> there's loads of sap coming out. We're gonna assume that's poisonous. There we go. Zizi. Zizi plants notoriously take ages to root. So we're just gonna see. I might actually start off some cuttings in my arrow garden uh, and see if that works because that's got a light and a pump on it. So I might try that as well. Right, now let's take a cutting from here. I'm just gonna take, so this has got quite a long vine on it. So I'm just gonna do the vine. It will probably mean it takes longer to grow a new leaf, but I'm not really that bothered about that. You don't need to leave these bits so long. It's just, it, me it means that if you forget to top it up with water, it's got a bit longer to live. Right, and then just lichens. Just gonna do, do, do. Maybe here. It really doesn't matter where you cut. I was just going for aesthetic reasons. There's a note, so I'm just gonna put the I'm going to leave the leaves on because there is a node at the bottom here. Ooh. I've, I've got a use for the tweezers. That's what the tweezers are for. Good to know. Go in there. And that's it. If you're a sensible, like I said, you'd label these. I'm not gonna. I've got my aero garden, which is essentially a fancy propagation box. So I'm gonna try. I have no idea if this will work. I don't see why it shouldn't. They don't fit in there. That would have been. It would have been helpful if the net pots fit in, fit in there. But. All an aero garden is, is a fancy propagation box. It's got a light and it's got a notification thing for when the aero garden runs out of water. It's also got an automatic light. I don't use the automatic light. Oh God, it's so dusty. So yeah, I'm just gonna see if this works. So I've got a plant, so I've got a Monstera Peru cutting here, which I've really struggled to get to root. So I'm just gonna see if it works better. I don't think I'm gonna bother using any medium. Shouldn't need it. I'm just going to feed it through like that. This is a ZZ plant. I don't know. I've heard sort of varying reports of whether or not they root from stem cuttings. So we're going to try it. I'm just feeding it in. I'm just using the Aero Garden pods to um, keep it upright. This is either, right, I think this is a Monstera Antonsonii. I've also got a Trubii Moonlight Scandapsis. I think that's this one, but we'll see when they grow new leaves. You can go in there. If this roots these as quickly as it roots, doesn't root seeds, what does it do with seeds? It doesn't need to do. What's that word? Germinates. And it also means I've still got this free for any more propagation should I want to. Right, you can go in here.
This is a Hoya Bella. I've actually just noticed when I cut it, it's got a little flower bud on it, which obviously it's not going to do anything now, but you know, these things happen. So yeah, there's that. God, I really hope this works. It, it feels like I've just done like a life hack uh, with the Aero Garden as well. So the light comes like that and then you can lift it. As your herbs grow and grow and grow, you can lift it higher and higher and higher. I think I might do it quite, quite medium just because I don't want the leaves to burn and it is quite a hot light and then we just fill it with water it's got like a filter here water indicator in here you just fill it up and then we go I'm trying to think of a reason why this wouldn't work we'll see I feel like filming today has been a massive chore I keep changing my mind about doing stuff or losing footage by losing footage. The footage didn't exist because I didn't press record. And then I filmed the outro that this is, and I filmed it by doing, I somehow sort of did that. So the footage still exists, but <laughs> I can't upload that. I look like a fool, but I'll tell you all about it anyway. So, um, yeah. The gist was I I was getting some propagations ready um, on what I thought was going to be a lovely spring day, but it's actually snowed today, so um, there's that. Thought I'd try the Aero Garden and tried to film and everything went wrong. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching anyway. If you did, if you bailed a minute in, don't blame you at all. So, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.